Day five in Cuba here, and uh, today's a street photography day, so you know I'm happy. Just arrived at our first location, so let's see what this is all about. Hi guys, welcome to the garage. Let's grab a chair and seat. We were fortunate enough to be able to visit the Photography Academy down in Havana that's based out of a one-car garage in this beautiful home led by two really compelling and passionate photographers. La Academia tiene un antes. Ya nosotros llevamos más de 30 años impartiendo clases de fotografía en distintas instituciones del país. Pero a partir de 2011 que se abrieron las posibilidades a que se abrieran escuelas privadas, es que nosotros abrimos esta academia. They all do it for the love of art. They don't really get paid from the government. They just do it because they like to do it. That truly really amazes me because this kind of stuff, it's a one of a kind of thing. Es una academia que no solamente se enseña fotografía desde el punto de vista técnico para ser un fotógrafo. Es una academia que tratamos de de instruirlo desde el punto de vista de la cultura fotográfica de manera general, o sea, que adquieran grandes culturas. Nosotros tenemos varios cursos que van desde la técnica fotográfica hasta composición, retratos, E incluso estamos impartiendo historia del arte porque los fotógrafos deben de conocer historia del arte. This house was like a museum, high ceilings full of photographs, paints, really old clocks. It was pretty fun to see that, and they were nice enough to share that with us. We split up into two groups. Half the group was Americans and half the group was Cuban locals who were students of this academy. To explore the streets of Havana with them was an honor for us. And it was, for me, one of the best dates because my comfort zone is just wandering aimlessly through the streets, meeting people, engaging with the community, and just seeing what kind of art we can create. To start our day with that dose of inspiration was something that really helped you know, carry my motivation and energy throughout the day. And this is one of the things that I really like about this trip. We're not only showing the beauty of Cuba, we're actually experiencing the insights of how they live, how they do things here. And to me, that's very important. My name is Sarah Dici. I am a YouTuber based out of New York City. I was always into audio and video, but I had never really thought of it as a job until, honestly, like second or third year of college. I loved it so much and I loved posting to YouTube and it was kind of gaining traction and I was starting my own projects and I saw it going somewhere and I ended up getting an opportunity called the Adobe Creative Residency which allowed me to really pour into my passions and my video projects without worrying about freelance for, for a year. And so I saw my YouTube channel and also my financial situation working at the same time and I was gaining traction. So this, this past year I have just been pursuing that 100%. I am definitely looking towards the future for different ways to just share my content. And so it'll be exciting to see what the future holds and how the videos I make can expand to new audiences. We went to a boxing gym for children and we got to see how they train and they were so passionate about it. Like, they were so intense and they have so much motivation. And it was clear to us to experience that because you could tell right away. 
I'm a big boxing fan. I grew up watching Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. That was like the 90s, you know, that was the big deal watching boxing back in the day and it kind of lost its luster in the States. But to see it here and alive and well in Cuba is absolutely phenomenal. Like these kids start training at five years old. So by the time they're 10, they're like already five year veterans. I mean, like they could lay any one of us out. <laughs> Collectively, it's just been a really strong trip and it's a very uplifting trip. And I'm having this overwhelming feeling of this is one of the most important trips that I've taken in my life. Watching these kids box has been inspirational. They, they fight with such determination. We went into this boxing ring and my eyes lit up. I was like, oh my God. Sports has been in my life since the beginning and the whole community aspect of sports like just to see the kids really having a good time and exercising and, and focused on like a single thing it makes me happy. The craziest part about this is that you don't have to have the best gear in order to create the best work and that definitely applies into sports. You can't take the heart out of somebody. You can't take that fire out of somebody's hit. I'm never one to complain because there's always a beauty in everything. In the next episode of Through the Lens Cuba. We got to go to this really, really cool restaurant and they made traditional Cuban cuisines based off of recipes they got from their mothers and their grandmothers. So it was made with love. It was fun to get some shots and try to get artsy with it because I'm definitely not a food photographer or a food videographer at all. But I channeled my inner chef's table and I tried to really conquer it. Cuba is a photographer's playground. I cannot wait to return and dive even deeper into the possibilities of photography in this country. This has been one of the best experiences of my life. I can honestly say that I am leaving a piece of my heart here in Cuba because that is exactly what's happening.